You're listening to the Savvy Social Podcast, the show for budding entrepreneurs who want to understand the how and the why of social media marketing. I'm your host, Andrea Jones. Let's get started. Hi, and welcome to episode number 33 of the Savvy Social Podcast. So excited to have you here today. I'm actually getting a little bit over a cold though, so pardon my stuffy nose. (laughs) But I'm really excited because today we're talking about podcasting, which is my new favorite thing ever. Uh, Basically, I really dove deep into podcasting last year, um, but I've been working with podcast clients since 2015, and it's been really fun to watch this evolution that's happening in the podcasting space. This industry is just booming. So we're going to talk in a sec about seven ways that you can promote your podcast this year. But first, this episode is brought to you by Social Report, which is the world's most complete social media management platform and my social media management tool of choice. You guys know I love Social Report. Um, Make sure if you're signing up to either head on over to socialreport.com or you can use the link that's in the show notes. If you use my link, they just know that I sent you over there. And there's a free 30-day trial. So you can try it out, see if it's for you. Let me know what you think, um, and yeah, have fun using such a great all-in-one tool. Uh, I also wanted to take a moment to share something really cool that I thought podcasters would like uh, on this episode. So as some of you may know, my husband, Brent Jones, is an author, and his latest novella series is one of my all-time favorites, and he's made this pretty cool commercial uh, with podcasts in mind. So I wanted to take a moment and uh, play it for you now. Here it is. The Afton Morrison series is now available as one complete audiobook. Afton Morrison, 26, is a small-town children's librarian. She's also a disturbed vigilante murderess in pursuit of a violent sexual predator. It came back to me all at once. The suffocating black of total emptiness. The pale moonlight cut off by the peaks of old elm trees. And I heard it. Audible members are raving about this serial thriller from author Brent Jones, describing it as full of action, suspense, and twists and turns that will keep you on the edge of your seat. Available for just one membership credit, this four-part series delivers more than 20 hours of thrilling serial killer mayhem. Find the Afton Morrison series on Audible or visit authorbrentjones.com. Wasn't that cool? I loved when he played that for me. I was like, I've got to put this on my podcast. I know this isn't like a literary podcast or anything, but I thought as podcasters, you guys would appreciate it. So if you want to place his commercial on your podcast, specifically if you have a literary podcast, drop me a line, Andrea at onlinedrea.com. I'd love to talk about some possibilities. All right, so let's dive into today's episode. It's seven ways to promote your podcast in 2019. And my number one way of course, is to post about your podcast on your own social media accounts. Now, I've got a free guide and I did an entire episode on how you can leverage social media as a tool for getting more podcast listeners. So I'm going to link to that episode in the show notes. It's called How to Use Social Media to Promote Your Podcast. And also you can download the free guide, which is at socialmediaforpodcasts.com slash free. And essentially, I walk you through the strategies that I use for myself and for my clients for getting more podcast listeners. And the key is not just posting and running. So don't just post a podcast episode and then not do anything else with it. There's a lot of things that you can do to get attention on that specific episode. Um, really, it's it's a combination of having content that's uh, excellently crafted um, and as well as uh, participating actively in your social media platform. So going out and finding potential listeners, engaging with them and getting them back to listening to your show, listening to your episode. 
Um, so that social media is the number one way to promote your podcast in 2019. I'm fully behind it. Um, some of the platforms that are really hot right now, uh, Twitter for podcasters is actually really growing, especially if you podcast, uh, if you have a podcast that is for businesses, I find Twitter to be really great. Also LinkedIn. So Twitter and LinkedIn, if you have a podcast that's geared towards other businesses. So let's say you talk to podcasters or you talk, like I talk to businesses, um, you guys. Or if you're talking to, let's say, uh, local business or uh, web designers or something like that, okay, coaches, that sort of thing. Um, the other platform that's really, really on fire right now is Instagram, specifically Instagram stories and Instagram uh, direct messaging. So if you are a podcaster in 2019 and any, any podcast this works with, but I think specifically for podcasters who are um, to a general audience, Instagram is where you should be because you have the unique ability to find the right people and connect with them and start conversations with them through direct messaging. Okay, so my second tip, the second way that you can promote your podcast in 2019 is to leverage some relevant communities online. So specifically, um, the Reddit community, our podcasts could be an interesting way to start leveraging um, people who are already in the podcasting space. They've got a weekly thread where you can post your episodes, that sort of thing. So you can definitely get into that community or into communities that are relevant to your niche. So one of my my members, for instance, has a podcast about fungus, which is a, such an interesting topic. And so she may want to get into relevant communities on Reddit that are specifically about fungus and how you can use that to enhance your health and enhance your life, right? The other thing you can do is use Facebook communities. Um, while Facebook itself, I'm I'm have like a little bit of a love hate relationship with Facebook right now. The Facebook communities are really the best part of Facebook, specifically for podcasters. So um, a few favorites that I like: um, She Podcasts is a really good community. If you're a female, they're very supportive there. Um, Woman of Color Podcasts, it's a WOC podcast on Facebook. If you're a woman of color, very supportive community as well. Danielle's doing a really good job of curating the right um, content in, the, in a really supportive community. Um, Jeremy's group. So last episode, I interviewed Jeremy about um, his kind of community as well. And he's really uh, cultivated a community also that's very supportive. And I like how tight knit it is. Um, it's called Cut the Bullshit Podcasting. And I have the link to that in the last episode as well. Um, definitely go back and listen to Jeremy's uh, episode, though, because we talk about how he's created that community as well, which is, I, you know, I, I really like <laughs> talking about that kind of stuff. Um, and then, of course, the podcast movement community, which is one of my favorites on Facebook. Um, you can't directly promote in that community. Sometimes they post promotion threads, um, but you can share what you know and share your knowledge. And people get naturally curious. They may click on over to your personal profile and find your podcast that way. So definitely make sure you're paying attention to some of these online communities um, rules. Make sure you're not breaking any rules by just out overtly promoting your podcast. But you can definitely leverage the people in these communities, connect with them, build real relationships. And these people could be your potential listeners. So a really cool way to promote your podcast in 2019. All right, my third way you can promote your podcast in 2019 is to link to it inside of a blog post. So whether this blog post is on your own website or if it's a guest post on someone else's website, the guest posting um, option is actually going to be really good for you because other people, new people, are going to see your podcast. So you could write an article, submit it to a website, make sure you read their rules, and link back to your podcast as a solution to a problem. So um, deep linking essentially to your podcast on other websites. A really great way to um, just get new new listeners. Uh, the fourth way that you can promote your podcast in 2019 is similar to the last one, but it's specifically using Quora. Um, so I've been experimenting with Quora lately, um, still trying to figure it out for myself, but essentially it is a platform where people ask questions and uh, other people answer them. So either you can ask questions or you can answer other people's questions. And so um, 
if you have a podcast about um, whittling, for instance, or carving, and someone asks a question about whittling or carving, you can give them an answer and then say, I talk more about this specific topic on this podcast episode. So you're providing a solution to their problem, to their question, but you're you're also linking to an episode where maybe you talk about it in depth or you interview someone who has had the same issue or anything like that. So it can be a really great way to increase your um, audience. What I will say is I've been using Quora for probably about two weeks at the time of recording this, and um, I don't have any specifically st- specific strategies for getting more um, attention on your Quora posts. All I know is that there are some Quora answers that are essentially viral, and they're getting tons of traffic constantly, and it's a really great way to get traffic. So just keep at it. Um, I'll keep you guys updated for how that's going, really kind of testing the waters out there, but I see a huge potential in 2019 um, to get to get um, more awareness on your podcast for free. All right, tip number five, or the fifth way you can promote your podcast in 2019 is to create a corresponding YouTube video. So creating a video, you can create a video that talks about the very same topic, which essentially would be just a visual representation of that podcast. I'm trying to think of an example, and unfortunately, I don't have one right off the top of my head. Probably should have done this before this episode, Um, but you can create this similarly. I've done this with uh, Facebook Live as well, where, you know, I'll talk about something specific in a podcast episode, and then I'll also talk about that same thing on the Facebook Live video. So you can definitely do this with YouTube as well. What I would suggest is um, creating something that's a little bit shorter, and I think this could work really well if you have a guest. So if you have a guest talking about something specific, then you can create a YouTube video that maybe shares the importance of that topic and then say, for more on this uh, topic, listen to this specific podcast episode. Or you can do it really easily and just restructure or repost your podcast episodes as YouTube videos. So I do this using Libsyn. Libsyn is the podcast host that I use, and it has a feature where you can automatically post your podcast episodes to your YouTube channel. Now, those don't get a ton of views for me just yet. I have one or two videos, though, that have gotten more views than the others because YouTube is its own search engine. So if you're optimizing your podcast titles, for, um, you know, the podcasting apps, then you're also optimizing them for platforms like YouTube. And so if someone's searching for something, they could come across your podcast episode, and that could be a solution to the problem. Now, I will say having a static image with just the audio playing isn't the most optimized way to post content to YouTube, but it's better than nothing. So uh, that could be a really great opportunity for you to reach new audiences. Another thing you can do with YouTube is simply reference your episodes in your YouTube content. So if you've got a YouTube video creation strategy and you're talking about whatever your subject is, whatever your niche is, then you can layer in other podcast episodes. And I do this actually with podcast episodes. I've done it already once in this particular episode where I'm talking about a topic and I'll say, hey, I talked more about this in whatever episode, podcast episode. Okay. So that could be another way to kind of have a callback to other episodes and increase your listenership. The idea here is if someone's coming into your world just now, you want to give them a natural next step. You want to give them something to do after they consume this particular piece of content. Okay, moving on. Number six, emailing your list. So one of the biggest things that I see podcasters doing, the biggest mistakes, is not starting in the list building process. Um, I find that we're relying so heavily on social media, which is great, but social media is just the top of your funnel. And I talk about this in the sales funnel episode, which I will link in the show notes as well, where social media gets you attention, but it's so fast paced. There's a lot of things happening and not everyone checks social media every day. I know we do because this is what we do. We're on here all the time, but not everyone does that. So having an email list would be a really great way to build a collection 
of your audience and a segment of your audience and be able to communicate with them regularly. So I like to do this through um, having free offers like the Social Media for Podcasts Roadmap, for instance. So you can definitely download that at socialmediaforpodcasts.com slash free. Um, That's a really great example of how I'm encouraging people to sign up for my list. When you download the roadmap, you also get weekly updates from me. And you get access to some cool podcasting things, some cool social media things, everything that I'm doing, it's in my emails, okay? So that's a really great way to stay updated. So if you're a podcaster, I definitely consider um, starting an email list because that's owned content. So if Instagram shuts down tomorrow, what are you going to do if that's all you've been focusing on kind of thing, right? So you'll have that collection of emails um, that you can always turn to. All right, my last tip is actually one of my favorite things to do, and this is the seventh way you can promote your podcast in 2019, which is be a guest on other shows. Be a guest on other shows. Podcasters love podcasting. That's a huge hint for you guys. If someone's listening to a podcast, that means they're more likely to listen to other podcasts as well. So if you're a guest on someone's show and you knock it out of the park, that person's going to get naturally curious and go, huh, I want to look that person up. And if they find you and your podcast, that could be another way you can get new listeners. I know for me personally, an example I can share is um, I listen to the Being Boss podcast and Tara Okay, her name was Tara Gentilly, but she's now Tara McMullen, was a guest on the show, I want to say like two years ago or something. And um, I heard her episode and I was like, I really like the way this woman thinks. I really think I could learn more from her. Um, And her call to action at the end was to listen to her podcast. So I went over to her podcast and now I'm in her private community, her paid community, and I just love everything that she does. And I found her from listening to another podcast. So you're really um, increasing the likelihood of reaching other and new audiences when you're guesting on other podcast episodes. Now, I could make an entire podcast episode just about podcast guesting, and I'm actually thinking about creating a course on podcast guesting inside of the Savvy Social School. So if you're interested in that, definitely reach out to me. I'd love for you to uh, direct message me on Instagram and let me know. At Online Drea is my Instagram handle. Let me know if you're interested in learning how to be a guest on other people's shows. Um, I haven't created that resource yet, but I've got one other thing I can send you if you're interested in that. Um, I know a few people who I can refer you to and also some free wor- resources I can refer you to if you're interested for now. I just want to kind of see... Um, if this is something you're interested in, all right? So guesting on other shows, if you're interested, direct message me at Online Drea. All right, so those are the seven ways you can promote your podcast in 2019. And if you're looking for more podcasting help, um, I've actually collaborated with Jeremy last episode's guest to uh, produce the Podcast Power Pack. The Podcast Power Pack. I'll have a link in the show notes to this. Um, but there's two free elements of the pack, which is the Podcast Launch Roadmap. So it's a really good resource for those of you who are thinking about starting a podcast. Even if it's just an inkling of an idea in your head, definitely download the Launch Roadmap. Really cool um, kind of step-by-step guidelines for what you should do to start your podcast. And then if you've already got a podcast, um, Jeremy has created the podcast audit framework, which is so perfect if you've already got a podcast and you want to see how to improve things. Um, he even had a really good video in there for that I liked that was um, showing you how you should be speaking into your mic. And um, I'm grateful that my podcast engineer, Travis Brown over at Podcast Buddy, had already told me this. So when I saw uh, Jeremy's... <laughs> Um, little video. I was like, oh, okay, cool. So I'm doing the right thing. Um, So thanks, Travis, for that little note. And thanks, Jeremy, for making that video so other people can see it too. Um, So definitely download those those two free things, whether you're launching or whether you already have a podcast. Um, But the really cool thing is this power pack. So when you sign up, you'll be notified when the Power Pack is going to be released, and it's such an amazing deal. There's over $3,000 worth of um, 
resources in there. It's it's anything from online courses to ebooks to membership communities. So yes, you'll have access to the Savvy Social School through the Power Pack, um, digital products, software, et cetera, et cetera. So with this with this Power Pack, you're getting help with different areas, all the things that go into creating podcasts from um, the products you should be using, from how to market it to how to monetize it to what your workflow should look like. Again, this is over three thousand dollars worth of value, um, and I and it, the the Power Pack will be released very soon after this episode. So make sure you sign up so you'll get notified when the Power Pack is released, how much it will be, because it's going to be a steal of a deal. And this is one a really great way to kind of join into the school for a super discounted rate because I love podcasters. I love you guys. It's uh, such a fun growing industry. All right. Thanks for bearing with me in this episode. Um, It's been great chatting with you guys and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for listening to this episode of the Savvy Social Podcast. For links and everything we talked about, please check out the show notes by visiting SavvySocialPodcast.com. And don't be afraid to continue the conversation. I'd love to have you inside of the Facebook group. You can search for us on Facebook or simply go to SavvySocialCrew.com. See you there. Bye for now.